Who is gorgeous Cami Raza dating? Why was Lily Collins heartbroken after a date? And what's going on between Luca Bravo and Ashley Park? Cami Raza. If you're looking for some fashion inspiration, Cami's Instagram is your paradise. She's the embodiment of French fashion as we are used to seeing it. Emily in Paris may be Cami's first major worldwide role, but she's definitely not new to the world of fashion. Cami models for iconic major brands like Chanel, Balmain, and Lanvin. She looks just as cool as she does in Emily in Paris. Though the series was criticized for increasing the level of American cliches towards French culture, Cami is actually rocking every one of those cliches. First, she has dozens of pictures in different berets for every occasion. Second, she has quite a lot of pictures of her smoking a cigarette. So whenever a French person laughs at how Americans imagine them with cigarettes, from Cami's perspective, it looks true. Plus, remember Emily's post captioned hashtag smoking bodies, where she took a picture of women smoking after working out? Well, Cami herself has videos of her boxing right next to her pics with cigarettes. How fun is that? Though Cami is really great in those exercise videos. However, she doesn't post pictures of her private life at all. We couldn't find any interview or even a post indicating her relationship status. Like Sylvie said to Emily, French people like mystery. Lily Collins. Lily's gorgeous eyebrows and sweet smile made her a worldwide style icon, but it turns out that polished look and a famous father are not enough to protect you from heartbreak. Hard to believe, but 31-year-old Lily revealed she has been ghosted by her boyfriends in the past. In her interview with Glamour, Collins revealed, There are times when I've been on dates and thought, we had a great time, and then I've never heard from the guy again. Sometimes that happens after one date, a couple of dates, or one month. I would prefer people to be honest with me, as I live like that. I don't think it will be something I can ever figure out. Oh boy, a lot of us can relate to that. Anyhow, let's check who is on Lily's dating list. Around the age of 22, Lily was rumored to be dating almost every one of her co-stars. She allegedly had a romance with Taylor Lautner and was shipped with Zac Efron after they were seen holding hands in Disneyland. But her real boyfriend at the time was Jamie Campbell Bauer, the handsome blonde from the Mortal Instruments. They dated for a year in 2013, then broke up, then got back together again and eventually broke up for good in 2015, according to Ranker. Some reports say that afterwards, Lily was briefly dating Chris Evans and even went on a couple of dates with Joe Jonas. As it usually happens in Hollywood, Lily has never confirmed any of these relationships. So we will jump right to her current squeeze, director Charlie McDowell. Just a couple of days before the premiere of Emily in Paris, Lily dropped one more bit of news, sharing a picture of the two kissing and showing off her epic engagement ring. I've been waiting my lifetime for you, and I can't wait to spend our lifetime together, she captioned it. We don't know for sure how long Lily and Charlie have been together, but it all became official when Lily posted a picture of them together and Charlie flew to Paris to see Lily on the set of Emily in Paris. McDowell, who is seven years older than Lily, has a history of A-list dating himself. According to Marie Claire, he's dated some great actresses like Amelia Clark and Rooney Mara. Luca Bravo. What's the French for? I am in love with him, cause it feels like we found decent boyfriend material. There's been a rise of gorgeous Spanish casts, thanks to Elite and Money Heist, so we should have predicted that the French would be next. Luca is 32 years old, but the world is only banging on his door now. And can you believe he still doesn't know about it? He is extremely humble. When asked by Glamour if he would date a fan, he said, I don't really have fans, so I don't know. Oh yeah? Hard to believe it, since he has 250,000 followers. Lucas was also asked if he did a co-star, to which he said, Once you step on set, it's a workplace, and I want to keep it professional. I mean, you never know what can happen, but I really try as much as possible to focus on the story we have to tell, and the performance, and the character. Sounds pretty different from the attitude they portrayed on the show, but we are glad that Luca can break down a stereotype or two. Luca has confirmed he's currently single, and after the hit series, he probably won't have much time to date either. But there's one close friend he has made on set. Bravo revealed that after the show's ending, he went to New York and spent some fun time around the city with his new close friend, Ashley Park. The two actually have a fun story of how they met. As Luca told the cult, I met her on day two, and I think she thought I was a prop guy hanging by the trailer. She had an apartment next to mine. We barely have scenes together, but we became inseparable. 
Luca also posted dozens of stories walking around New York with Ashley. The two even went to see some musicals, Mean Girls, Hamilton, and Harry Potter. Isn't he a dream boyfriend? While Ashley and Luca's friendship seems to be just platonic, let's see what might happen after one more season on the set together. So, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any updates on them. Ashley Park it's not a coincidence that Ashley took Luca to see the Mean Girls musical. Turns out, Mindy's musical past was added to the script for Ashley specifically, after the director Darren Starr heard her performing in Broadway's Mean Girls. Ashley, who played Gretchen Weiner, said, Darren Starr had actually come to see Mean Girls, which is how he became familiar with me. I think he said he saw it twice, which I didn't know until recently. Fans are over the moon that Ashley had a couple of musical moments in the series. So is such an extremely talented actress single? Looks like she is. Or 29-year-old Ashley is just extremely secretive about her love life. There's no public record of Ashley officially confirming any relationship. Her Instagram is full of awesome pictures with friends and from set, but none of them hint to a potential boo. On the other hand, Ashley is such a hard worker that we can totally see why she probably doesn't have a lot of time for dating. Ashley is a fascinating broad star, who is famous not only for Tina Fey's Mean Girls hit musical, but also the 2015 revival of The King and I, and has been nominated for a Tony Award multiple times. Now, after her success in Emily in Paris, she'll probably have even more projects. It's nice that despite how busy she is, she managed to make a good friend. Ashley has this solar energy. She talks to everyone. She makes it effortless. She has that connecting energy. We decided not to leave each other's sight because it was too much fun, Luca told the Oprah magazine. Maybe Ashley will find some time for love while filming season two in Paris, if Netflix gives them a green light. Speaking of season two, Darren Starr already has some ideas for it. As Darren said, what happens in the next chapter, I think, can be a real exploration of how does the relationship between these three characters evolve. That, to me, is such a fun thing to explore in season two, because these are not Americans. They're French people. To me, a big part of the show is looking at everything through a different lens. Well, French people might disagree with that, as a lot of French critics diss the show for enhancing American stereotypes about France. One of the French magazines said that the whole of Paris was laughing over the series, and French Twitter called it ridicule, meaning ridiculous. So we doubt that it'll be the real French lens through which we will explore the characters' relationships. But for what it's worth, we can't wait for season two anyway. The stylish looks, handsome actors, and exquisite lifestyles are things dreams are made of. Fans already have great ideas about possible plot twists for season two. It looks like Emily may be dealing with more than just the cami Gabrielle love triangle. In the last episode, Antoine's wife approached Emily with the words, I approve, hinting that she knows that Antoine has chosen her as his new affection. Sylvie is definitely not going to like it, so season two may show us how Emily deals with her obsessive client and how Sylvie will make her life hell for that. More drama, more passion, and more fine berets. Viva la season two!